right, we're checking out the only game where the best thing to do with a nuclear missile is obviously jump a car over it. It's GTA. We want to jump vehicles over the most random and largest objects in GTA, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. We went ahead and gave Alex full creative agency to develop the most ridiculous and largest jump challenges he could, and obviously I should have never done that. Because he wants to make my sanity go into nuclear meltdown, I'm not going to just jump over normal objects, of course. There's everything from sky-high stacks of helicopters to nuclear launch sites, and because why not, King Kong-sized breakfast items. As always, he's given us all these different cars with which to try and enter upward into Valhalla, but all of them will get backhanded except for one. Let's do this. Welcome to the eggs and bacon jump. When I load into an Alex board, I always say to myself, I have at least some idea of what I might read for the very first challenge. Was not expecting that. Gotta say he, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yolks! <laughs> Alex legitimately made a massive football stadium sized skillet filled with eggs and bacon. This is incredible. Ah, yes, we'll be solving world hunger and destroying my life. Love it. All right, three wheel. How much protein do you want? The answer is always yes! Oh. Oh, there's slowdown sticks down here, too. So, what happens when you're inside of the pan? Do I get cooked as well? I do get cooked! <laughs> I was gonna say, do I become part of the breakfast? The answer is yes. Gray and ham. Love it. Don't mind me, just break dancing on my head. All right, I, I get the idea that there is almost no way that this three wheel can get past the very first challenge, but I am prepared to go all the way up this mountain and get us maximum distance to try this. So here we go. Full distance. Eggs and bacon jump. No idea why, but why not? Not a chance. The sad part is every time I fail, I have to burn alive. <laughs> yes, this does feel like a terrible choice. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to try it. After all, since it's a fire truck, it may make me fire resistancy. Uh, this did worse than the three wheel. And I have the feeling that while I believe maybe it is fire resistant, it maybe isn't. I'm curious too how, oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, your gigantic bowling ball sized yolks are quite violent. You know that, Alex? I have to take a moment too to, to mention that the fire truck is indeed on fire. The fire truck is now blowing up and killing me. The answer last time was power metal, which means the answer this time will also be more power metal. From the top rope. Here we go. I'm going for it. Plus this like ridiculous object does have a decent top speed. Oh, if I didn't hit that ball, I think we would have made it. The power of Rocky Balboa compels you. Anytime I do this challenge, I can only see, I think it was Rocky one where he's just eating raw eggs out of a glass, a half a dozen of them. Not gonna lie, your challenge is a lot harder than I previously anticipated. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that is a big jump. Sticks to landing upward and a little bit of a lean to the road. <laughs> Uh, and of course I land right on the train tracks. Come on, baby. So not only do you have to jump this correctly. Oh God. Then you have to, ooh. Hey, oh no. <laughs> this is so much harder than it needs to be. It is. There we go, that's a great jump. Okay, now I just want to land like, oh God, all right, there is no. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I think I can get this. Stop. Yeah. First challenge, got it. And now that I'm here, I do have to mention there is an entire missile being launched behind me and that is really concerning. Get into the chopper jump. Get into the chopper jump. Okay, am I, am I supposed to say this with maximum Schwarzenegger? Oh my God. I can't see where the choppers end. That's a lot of choppers, man. Uh, there's really no way to cheat this either. All right, we're gonna get maximum distance for this because I have a feeling that you're going to need to do the eggs and bacon challenge and keep all of your speed in order to have any chance at jumping this. If I had to guess, we're not even gonna get halfway. Here we go. Oh, we got way further than I thought we would. We're probably right about halfway. Oh, God! Yeah, let's try a new car. All right. We're using the Raptor. Let's see how it does. I do love a vehicle that's made with absolutely no safety in mind. You may be asking yourself, Gray, how well does the Raptor burn? Oh, hey! Oh, God. Oh, 
Yeah, it's fine. I've got everything not under control at all. I'm pretty surprised that this thing made it over the pan. I really didn't think it would. And it can totally clear the pan. I mean, full clear. That's hot. Literally, that is that is hot. Like, so hot that you burn. All right. How is it at, uh, I guess, jumping over infinite choppers? Here we go. Uh, got right about where the last vehicle got. And now I'm gonna die because I got backhanded by one of the blades. Fortunately, getting to this point is not a big deal. The problem now is just getting past this. I needed even more speed. We're going motorcycle time. Oh, the motorcycle just killed me. The motorcycle, I am now eating the front wheel. The front wheel tasted like pain. Okay, we're gonna give this motorcycle another try, but this time I'm gonna pull back a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, keep the speed, push hard, big jump all the way. You know what, maybe I can just go around the helicopters. Maybe that'll work. That is not working. I am now falling toward the ground very fast and my groin just went out my mouth. Ah yes, that moment when your wiener gets pulverized so hard that you die from it. Oh wow. So not only do I get chucked to the side in the cars, but the blades can flat out murder me in the motorcycle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I would have to jump over a, oh yeah, a deck tuplet sandwich of helicopters. Oh, boom! All the way over! Oh God, now I have to land this. Fall, send, baby! <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Uh, well, the bike can legitimately do it. Wouldn't have thought. All right, what else you got for me? <laughs> the Chernobyl job. Why would you put this here? Oh God, what is, sir, do you know how time it is? What is going on? Oh, is this like the cursed animal that's been exposed to the, uh, the radiation? God, it looks like a bunch of chicken legs all fighting for dominance with a deer head attached to it. This is like the ugliest cursed thing I think I've ever seen in my life. I kind of want to put it out of its misery, but I don't think I can. I think it's just like part of the scene. Oh, there's another guy. Just random barrels of toxic waste chilling out. You got a mirror, man. Oh, buddy. I don't know if you know this, but you have lost all of your facial features. You now just look like the skin of a hot dog. Okay, so I guess I have to jump through this and then, I don't know, I'm like dodging a bunch of nuclear pipes and maybe some rockets. This is a very busy challenge and I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So here we go! Ooh, okay. Uh, well, I kind of went up. What the? What happened? I like insta-died. Did a, one of the pipes destroy my medulla or something? All right, real quick, I figured we would try a different car because I'm gonna start like moving towards stuff that has a ton of speed. I think we're gonna need it in order to get over, oh my God, in order to get over the nuclear power plant. So this is close. I. <laughs> Haven't been RKO'd by the yoke in a while. This one's pretty close. I maybe it can get over the helicopters. I'm not sure. I think I would probably need to curb boost this to have any chance, but I'm gonna give it one more straight up shot. Big lean, forward pull, it cannot make it. Alright. It's been a long time, Baja Mobile. How does it do against bacon and eggs? Pretty bad. Let's try that one more time. Maybe with let are you kidding me? Stop feeding me with your chicken children. I cannot believe this. It's like a homing missile on those yokes. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, okay. So six to landing, but can it get over the helicopters? Fully eat, forward lean, not even close. You never know, okay? All right, how are you jumping Titanic sized pans? Now it does have the boost on it, which totally didn't matter because I suck at lining things up. Right, let's try this boost one more time. The problem is dude, things so big. I, oh, oh my God. Oh, wow, the boost kind of matters. Hold on, we need more distance. Are you ready? Huh. Well, that turned out to be incredibly lackluster. Ugh. I'm just checking. I assume he did not make these destructible. The answer is no. All right, there's still a lot more challenges left and I love beers. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Now made with 35% more Canada. That was terrible. All right, let's do a little bit of curb boosting and then jump this. 
and get hammered. And I don't mean hammered the good way, like the beer way. Hey, there we go. Okay, full speed, perfect landing. Nice and straight off of the launch pad. No. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Just planting some, some vegetables, if you will. See, this is fertilizer. It might look like gasoline. It's not. It's gasoline flavored fertilizer. This is what you get. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be the longest death in the history of my Jow! All right, never mind. Pure speed. All right, we're going hard now. Look at this, banana, pink. Okay, strawberry banana. It's a great flavor. You ready? Boom, first try. Right over the pan. I almost felt like that was gonna fail completely. Over the helicopters. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, full back flip and turn to the side. Flat landing. All right, Chernobyl. I'm about to shove my potassium up your, your Richter scale, whatever it's, I can't remember what it's called, your Geiger counter. Also, is this, is this explodable or how's this work? Kind of curious. Oh, it's gone. Oh, blew up the random poor guy. All right, speed time, big speed. Bit. Well, what the? What happened there? All right, I have no idea what happened that last time, but now we have full speed over the pipe. Tip the. Okay, tip the hood and land into the fires of Mordor. Great. Ah, yes. I never thought I would have to jump over Mount Doom before. Hey. Uh, where do I put this thing though? So I've been at this for a little while. I think I have to thumbnail hole. Let me show you. See this? All the way in the front right there? I'm almost reaching it. I think I need to thumbnail hole this and then land it. Yeah! <laughs> wow, I hope that was how I was supposed to beat this because that's all I could manage and figure out. Okay. Ah, and of course, this leads into the nuclear launch jump. Nice. Obviously, I, I always wanted to have to jump a car over a nuclear launching missile. Well, it's not just one of them, there's like two missiles. I think we got the speed to do it. I'm here to blow up countries and regain my sanity. Oh, and I'm all out of sanity! Hey! Hold on, I think I can land this. I think I can land this. Ah, oh, I was right there! No, I jumped to the missile! This is monumentally harder than you think. Okay, I can get over the first missile. Oh my God. It's just maintaining enough speed to land this over the pipes. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm having some issues. Like 50% of the times when I jump these pipes, it glitches like that. You know what? We're gonna try a new car. Say hello to number 44, the vehicle that you can use to take the kids to school and give them whiplash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh man, this is great. Okay, and nice flat landing. Perfect. All right, how does it do on the Chernobyl jump? They call me Chernobulus the Mighty. Out of the way, deer. Apocalypse deer. Ooh, okay, I needed to probably angle the front a l up a little bit more. All right, I came into this with a curb boost. Ha, huh, had the same problem as the last vehicle. Come on, that looks good. That looks good. Oh yeah! Oh, Tesla coils! Oh, I'm burning alive. Oh no, I'm getting electrocuted now. Oh hey! One of my old buddies. It ain't easy. Oh man. I don't think I can make it in this. All right, this is my last try. We're gonna do curb boosting pretty much the whole way. Big jump. That was a good release. Okay. 90 degree angle pointed downward. <laughs> oh, all right, I've had enough of this car. I met with two vehicles that look like they can probably do well, and then number 69. And if Alex puts the number 69 on a vehicle, I've got to try it. All right, Alex, did you soup this thing up? Is this the hidden diamond in the rough? No, not at all. This is garbage. This thing's going to 69 itself right into the shadow realm. Okay, uh, well this car has a little bit of red on it, which means it's fast. We Wang powers, activate. Ooh, they did activate. Okay. Uh, how we feel about the helicopter jump? Helicopter jump, 
feels. Oh my God, talk about just barely making it. It skimmed the back of the license plate. Whoa, oh my God. Oh, that was a little too close. <laughs> if it just barely made the helicopter jump, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make the Chernobyl jump. I'm gonna give it a shot. That was a clean release, wow. Huh, look at that. It did pretty good. It's so weird, I'm like, what is this? There's no, there's no floor here, but it kind of is pretending that there is a floor. I have no idea what is going on with this prop. I'm trying to find out if I can get out of this and let, hey, sweet. I have no idea how that worked. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Okay, nuclear launch, big jump, forward lean, clears it, not too bad. Wow, my God! <laughs> wow. Uh, I would say I could see my house from here, but I think I can legitimately see everyone's house from here. It is gonna take me a full 30 seconds just to hit the ground. There is nothing quite like getting nuclear launched all the way to Saturn. So this can definitely jump over the problem. Oh, here we go. No, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen! Yeah, nuclear launch completed, okay. Ah, the sweet sounds of progression. What is this eye cancer? What does it say? The sprunk jump, okay. Sounds pretty simple, looks awful. Uh, so it is a gigantic, like bowling pin tower of sprunk. At least you gave me a really big ramp. I'm just checking to make sure there's like no way I can cheat this or anything. All right, that was worth a try. All right, full speed. A little bit of curb boosting, ramp up the sprung ramp, and uh, I fell way short. Okay, getting to this point isn't that bad. Oh, man, maybe I can kind of go off to the side? If you notice, I have become a pro at dodging nuclear launch missiles. Now, it's it, I still have no idea how I'm supposed to get past this, though, because I can't get through... Oh. Actually, I have an idea. Hold on. All right, here's the plan. We're not gonna jump over to this. We're gonna jump through it. Maybe saying, great, what, what are you talking about? about? I think I can get through that tiny little opening, but I'm gonna need a different car. Yeah, Draugr, I'm not picking you, man. You're not gonna be able to do it. What is a mountain lion doing here? What are you running from? The mountain lion's like, I'm not getting caught up in a Greystill Plays board, no chance. Okay, electric car, lots of speed off the line. Great aerodynamics. Okay, this feels really good. Then over the, come on, over the helicopters. Oh, oh no. Again, the helicopter just barely touches the spoiler. That is crazy how close that comes. All right, Chernobyl jump. This is the one, oh my God. I forgot that that responds every time. That almost ruined the entire try. It's weird too, because the toxic waste canister sometimes just goes flying out of the way like it doesn't weigh a lot but with this car it almost straight up stopped me so big jump here lots of air I, I can almost jump over the entire prop that's awesome oh yeah just like an elephant giving birth we'll kind of blob our way out right over here perfect okay missile launch I this one feels good I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be first try on this first try you ready no <laughs> okay that was kind of close and we cleared it with a ton of space. Nice. So now the sprunk jump. So let me see if I could do what I what I said I wanted to do, which is go up in here. <laughs> yes, okay. So go up in here and we're gonna blob out onto the other side of the challenge. And if I don't make it, I can kind of just fall back onto this, this roadway and I could try again. Okay, big jump. Just kind of penetrate up the middle, not quite. No, I love that door. Ah, sadness. Okay, this run has been pretty good. Only a couple of smudges on the roof. That's nice. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, I don't believe it. <laughs> Sticks the landing. God, that's hot. And we have a checkpoint. Welcome everyone to alien spinny jump. Okay, so we've got the alien ship uh, dancing around like a ballerina, and it has a hoop on it. 
Okay, so I'm guessing how this works is, this is my assumption, the hoop has a teleporter. It has to. Because there's no way we're gonna make this jump. It's, I can tell you right now, it's not possible. So I'm assuming what we do, aim for the hoop, pray to God that Alex put a teleporter there, and then we get teleported to the end, maybe, hopefully. We'll find out in a second. All the way back, line it up. I wish I could tell you I had some sort of like great idea for how we're gonna do this, but we're just gonna guess and oh my god this is pretty oh my god yeah ah, oh my car is healed that's awesome <laughs> we're actually the ones probing the aliens and that means that we have a winner oh now i understand why he healed the car so he could blow it up when it hits the boat anyway folks hope you enjoyed this episode of gta until next time stay foxy much love